Good morning, it's Yvonne back to do the bonus read. Still playing with my iPad and hope that I can get it in the right position. I feel like I've been doing that for so many years now, it seems a bit crazy that <laughs> I'm still fiddling with the camera. Um, okay, we're going to do a bonus read, and for this reading, we are going to use the Albano Ride Away Tarot. Um, All right. Oh, nice split spirit. It's funny. Somebody said something about shuffling the cards yesterday. And sometimes that sort of, it's sort of, I find that hard to understand that, you know, if you're going to watch tarot readings, you have to trust that the person on the other side is giving the messages that they receive. Now, I can't honestly attest to the fact that every tarot reader is being honest that wouldn't be my place to make that judgment but I know for myself in particular I've been reading cards since I was probably in my early teens although the first readings I did were with a, a regular deck so when I looked back on that I used to wonder how I knew what the cards meant but later on I, I obviously found that out I got my first tarot deck, I think I might have been around about the age of 20. Um, I remember going for tarot readings like probably 18, 19 at the local fair. A woman pulled me aside um, at a fair. It was my first experience with somebody else being psychic and of course I'd always thought that there was something wrong with me, especially in light of my parents sort of dragging me through psychiatrists with sleeping tonics and things like that to try and help me cope with my night terrors as they called them and my sleepwalking because I would sleep and I would talk of obviously past life stuff because I'd talk about witches and things which I think probably scared everyone which was fine um, but I remember this woman pulling me over at the markets and talking to me about something. And I remember at the time thinking, wow, I didn't realise other people really saw this stuff or felt this stuff. So it was a bit of a shock for me then to understand other people were psychic because you kept it such a secret when I was young. Um, and then I started to read tarot. I started to really get into the log logical stuff as well because... I was fearful that what I was feeling wasn't right. So I really drowned myself in my own education. And as many of you know, I have a ton of, a ton of um, certifications and whatever else sitting behind me because I kept trying to fill what I felt was the hole inside of me. When, of course, later in life, I realized it was um, the spirituality. Um, I had a really bad breakdown in my mid thirties. Um, I really think now looking back that was spirit's way of getting me to really move towards my spirituality because I'd been so much in denial. I threw myself into my work. I was working like 50 hours a week. I had three children. I was doing a TAFE course um, and I was also doing placements. So I was very, very um, overwhelmed and extremely obviously burned out and I got very sick and I was sick for probably about nine months with panic attacks and fears and whatever else. So it was pretty daunting. But it really did turn my life in a new direction. And that's when I really started getting into um, working with the tarot, reading for other people, feeling comfortable about what I know. Um, so all in all, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you don't trust a tarot reader, then probably best not to watch them. Um, if you don't trust where the information's coming from or that the person that's reading for you doesn't have your best interest at heart, then I would say to you, it might be a good time to look for another tarot reader. You need to trust the source that it's coming from. Um, I have always been told by spirit and I talk about my visions. I talk about the messages I receive. And for me, the messages I receive and hand over to you come direct to, from spirit. I don't intervene. Um, sometimes I have trouble interpreting what they're showing me or telling me, but at the end of the day, it comes through in the best possible way I can say it. So um, if you're not feeling the connection with me for whatever reason, not because the reading doesn't resonate, but because you don't feel that I am delivering you the right messages, then it's best you find someone who does because I feel 
you're ripping yourself off basically. So you need to feel 100% confident, even if the story is not your own, that you can turn this particular reading off and move on to someone else and listen to their reading. But then I always say to people too, don't watch too many readings because then that becomes confusing and everybody interprets the cards very differently. We're all doing the best job we can with the tools we have. Some of us don't get your story sometimes and that is okay. So it's about sort of proceeding with no judgment but following your heart in terms of, wow, okay, in terms of understanding that we're all delivering a service to you. So keep that in mind. All right, seven of uh, cups coming through here. Um, actually, just adding to that, remember a lot of the readers on here don't even do personal readings. They are completely gifting you with the messages they bring forward. They do not ask. This is all free service. Um, so all the messages, all the things we bring through for you are absolutely free. You choose to come to people or go to people for a personal reading, that's a different story. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups coming through. And it's probably quite beautiful getting it on the end of that conversation because the Seven of Cups for me talks about illusion. Um, it can talk about, you know, dreams. It can talk about the ideas we have. It can talk about offers that we get that can be quite confusing because we're bringing a lot of our own stuff with us. And lately, with the messages I've been getting, a lot more understanding of what spirit is talking about in regard to illusion. We do so much during the course of a day that we have learned to do a certain way or through our ego because we have formed an idea or a way of doing things through our own processes. And a lot of those processes are what I see as illusions. Um, and the way we see our world very often in itself is of an illusion. We see things a certain way, we judge things a certain way, whether we like it or not, because of the way we've either been raised or the way we see our world. So for example, if you've had an extremely religious upbringing, everything may relate back to your religion. You can't do this because of this. You can't do this because of that. It's all what you've made up in your own mind. And that can be very confusing sometimes. Whether that's because you're trying to make a choice like this guy here. Um, it, funny enough, I always see him as the magician. So that would give you a bit of a, a, bit of a, um, a thinking place right there. Um, but this is what the card represents. It represents confusion, illusion, delusion, dreams, all of those things, but making the right choices as well. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles coming through here. So the Nine of Pentacles is a card that talks about a person who is very independent, very self-sufficient, has everything they need at hand. This is a person who has made their way to where they are and they've nearly completed the cycle of pentacles they have one pentacle to go and then they have complete and utter happiness with the ten of pentacles especially in regard to their material life but beautiful energy coming through with this one this morning all right so we have the chariot coming through so what i'm feeling here is there seems to be this energy of you seeing through some sort of illusion here and I feel that you've probably got yourself to a place with that nine of pentacles where you're feeling very solid and stable, but something you've been seeing a certain way for a while may be holding you back from proceeding or moving forward on your journey. The chariot card does talk about forward movement and everybody calls it a rapid card. But as you can see in this card, you can't move your chariot forward unless you have these the sphinx is on this particular card moving in the same direction and on the chariot it always implies they're going in opposite directions which also can make this look like there is a choice that needs to be made before moving forward and I feel like here the choice is coming from a place which is really solid because you've worked really hard to land where you are with that nine of pentacles so there's a choice being made here around something that was an illusion. 
This can be the card of Cancer, so it can relate to a person, especially because we have the King of Swords behind this. But there appears to be some sort of idea, some sort of situation or choice that is holding you back here. And I feel like with the King of Swords, a decision needs to be made so you can get your chariot going. Is your decision, your decision, is this an illusion? Is this what you're trying to say here? That there is something here that is an illusion? Is love an illusion in this particular situation here? But there's some sort of choice, I feel, maybe to let things go and move forward there with that chariot. Let me just go a bit further. Yeah, because you're in a beautiful place. There seems to be communication. Okay, so the illusion may be that victim mentality. Maybe you've got yourself stuck in, in a way of thinking or a way of doing things and you're stuck. In an illusion let's see where we're going with this very interesting energy okay so there is a brand new start here is someone offering you a brand new start in regards to love with the ace of cups but you're not trusting or you're not accepting that because you feel that it's not real or oh, that's poetry at its best because there's a real strong energy here. That you're not moving forward because you are in an energy. Okay, let's get further into the reading. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Okay, <laughs> so we have the Ace of Wands coming through. There is a brand new start for you here. Okay. A brand new start but we'll look what's underneath because I lifted that card when I was checking the ace of wands there is a tower moment here I feel like this is an epiphany a wake up some sort of energy here of realization breaking yourself out of the illusion for a new start Yep, there's definitely something coming to a close here and seeing things in a completely different way. Okay. Something is coming to the end here and you've got a brand new start, but I feel like you've broken out of some sort of illusion or some sort of way of seeing things that has not been serving you up until now. I'll go back to that mini read because even that confused me a little bit. Um... There is a cycle that needs to be ended here and I feel like you're about to see something, especially with this hanged man here. You're about to be shown the way out of an illusion. Um, it could be breaking free of, of some sort of shackles that you've had. It's breaking free of something here and finishing out a cycle. Let me just, oh wow, we have three aces in this reading. So what is the ace that's missing? We have the justice card. My goodness, something is about to be shown to you here. I feel like you've got somebody showing you something. This king of wands coming through. What is the illusion though? Someone's opening you up to something here that you've not seen before. We have the ace of swords and the justice card here. In fact, we have so many potent cards here. I have three major arcana, two aces, and a person. This could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries. We do have Libra being represented here. But the sword of truth is being held in her hand. There is some sort of truth that is being shown to you here. Something here that you were not seeing before. Because you've had yourself in some sort of illusion. Or maybe you've been confused by something that's happened. Because you've been seeing it in the wrong way. All right, so we have the Empress coming through with the Strength card and the Sun. Wow, when I say potent reading, I really mean potent reading here. So you have six major arcana with two aces and a signifier. So only one minor arcana, one card beyond the two aces. Okay, so the way I see it here, now I'm going to do the mini read again. 
because I feel like I might get more this time around. Okay, so the universe is trying to free you from some sort of illusion here. You're trying to, they're trying to show you how to see something in a different way. But I feel like it's coming through someone with the King of Wands there. So it's like the illusion is being broken by a person who's being encouraged by the universe to step forward. I feel like here that you may have done a lot of work on yourself, but perhaps you're still not seeing something that you are seeing a certain way that isn't the way you're seeing it, if that makes sense. All right, so I have you holding yourself up from moving forward. You're still stuck here. And a truth needs to be spoken in regards to love here. Now, there sort of seems to be this energy that something is coming into being through divine timing, some sort of communication coming through. And I feel like it's had you tied in a bind. Have you been stuck in some sort of way of thinking here? Have you been stuck in the energy of hurt and pain rather than seeing something for actually what it was? So have you been suffering in your pain for a long time when it was unnecessary? Because you've been seeing something from a negative point or a negative viewpoint. So it's like you've been locked into a way of thinking or a way of seeing your world that is not actually real. But it's the way you've been seeing it because you've been looking at it through some sort of negative lens or some sort of negative viewpoint. Because I feel like here we have three aces. The only ace that's missing here is the ace of pentacles. So there's something that you are about to be opened up to. Your eyes are about to be opened up here to the true beauty of who you are. But for some reason you haven't been seeing yourself as worthy or as, as worthy of... Nine of Cups just flew out at me then. Some sort of wish is coming true for you here. But what have you been doing? Have you been drowning yourself in your own negativity? Thinking that it wasn't true. It was only a dream. It was an illusion. I feel that you've been trapped in this energy and unable to move forward. Because you've been believing somehow something wasn't real. And the universe is about to open something up. Shine light on it in order for you to have brand new starts here. Some sort of truth is coming forward. Quite possibly there's Leo energy, Libra energy very, very strongly. This is all Leo. But I'm wondering if the Leo is signifying the energy behind this declaration or this information that's going to help you see something in a very different way. Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, wow, Page of Cups, you're getting a marriage proposal here. Look at this. Perhaps you've been thinking that somebody um, didn't feel the same way. Maybe you have yourself convinced this person couldn't see your value. Maybe you have felt sort of shoved aside. There is something here that you have been seeing I wonder with that illusion whether you're seeing yourself as being either damaged or not worthy of something and somebody's about to come forward here to show you that you most definitely are worthy. That's beautiful energy. There's some sort of proposal coming through here. It's coming through. Whoever this is is coming towards you. Has strong Leo energy. Now, if this isn't a Leo person, this person is carrying every one of those determined, passionate, um, forward-thinking energies with this Leo energy. So you're about to get some sort of, I don't know, Breaking of an illusion, crashing down of an old way of thinking. Something is about to change here. Because you have got someone coming forward here with an expression. Some sort of, I feel, declaration. Something that's going to help you break through some sort of illusion here. Beautiful energy. Very, very powerful with all that Leo energy coming through. This in itself is very, very powerful. But all these major arcanas, so this is very significant. All right, I've got Loyal Heart coming through. The 
feel like for some of you, something very powerful is about to hit you here. Something you didn't think was coming. Something you couldn't see, so therefore you didn't believe. This is about fidelity, loyalty and devotion. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and they will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you no matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely guided. Can I read the relationship message here? Your partnerships, friendships and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Something big is coming here. I feel so much love for you all. I hope it's everyone's reading. See ya, thanks.